Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you how to assemble this cute little bobble wand that I think is great for like a photo prop. So if you can see like right next to me, I was Snow White for Halloween. This was just like my little accessory. Um, so there's a couple things, I mean, there's so many things that we can do. All right, but before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. And let's get started. So a couple things that I wanna talk about. This is just a wooden dowel. And I liked wrapping it in the ribbon because I think it makes it, it turns it into like a really beautiful, fancy prop. Um, and of course, the colors, it allows you one more thing to add to really incorporate the theme. So in this case, I did Snow White. Um, and I'll show you that in a second. But I really wanna give you the basics. Like we don't have to reassemble this actual whole piece, but this is what I want to be able to show you how to do everything. What is cool is before I found this little tool right here, which is on my Amazon shop, it basically, this whole thing gets really hot. And so we can burn through um, the plastic of our bobble. Because before, the only thing that we could do is, uh, most of the time, if we wanted to add a wand, we would only be able to use half of it, right? And we would put paper back here or something and then put our stick and then it would be like a half bobble. But now that we're able to punch a hole or not punch a hole, but basically melt a hole through it, it allows us to use this whole bobble and you can, you know, have like two sides to something um, or you can open this up. So I could right now open this up and add more ornaments in there, add treats in there. So it is a fully functional bobble, which totally changes the game. Um, all right, so I have one that I already did a hole through it, but I wanna show you how to do that. So I have different sizes. Um, I would just hold one, right? And it comes already with this um, attachment on there are many other attachments but this one works well so all I do is obviously don't touch it because I don't know if you can see the smoke coming up it's hot so I get really close to where this little lip is where the the hole is and I'm just gonna stick it in so I'm gonna hold it this way and you kind of just push your way in and it's starting to melt And do you see, there's my hole. So what you wanna do at this point is, whatever you're gonna use, I'm gonna use a straw this time on this one, is you wanna make sure that it's big enough for your, this is really close, like I can get it in, but it doesn't go all the way through. So I'm just gonna take this and turn it around, wiggle it some, make the hole a little bit bigger, and there, now I have a perfect hole. So I'm going to turn that off. Okay. I'm also like worried about burning myself. I'm gonna move this to another table. So give me one second. Okay. Um, so yeah, it's I mean I'm just thinking of so many different things that we can do. This is a smaller size bobble. I have all the bobbles on my Amazon shop, so you can go there. But um so basically, I can do this now, add a ribbon right here, I don't know, do something super cute. This is the small one, this is the larger one. So with this one, I would do, the circle is three inches, okay? And originally what I did on this one is, let me show you, I'll show you with this one. I did the hole, and then what I did was I glued my dowel to the top of, the dome. When I did that, it definitely, I mean, obviously you glue it so like your dowel is there. It's sort of hard to, so what I did with the apple, which you see here, what I did was this was glued. I put the apple together and then I put it in like this and then I glued it from behind. But my question is, because I had seen someone do this for Tutu Balloons, awesome account, I love following her. So um, I don't know if we need to glue it to the top. I'm not gonna glue it to the top this time because 
I'm gonna keep it like about here. So I'm going to put my apple, I'm gonna glue my apple on here. So let's turn on, I'm gonna turn on my hot glue gun because this is what I'm thinking. I'm gonna glue it on like this. I'm not gonna have the wooden dowel show here. I'm gonna turn it around and then glue on my three inch circle pieces, right? So we don't have to glue it because once this is glued on, it can't go up or down because this is three inches. It's kind of stuck in that, in this little dome. So that's what I'm gonna try this time. I think that we can do that. Then we can add in the, you know, the sprinkles and whatever else. I'm not gonna do this exactly like this. Um, at the very end is when you do your ribbon because I guess you could technically do the ribbon now and make this hole big enough, but there's no reason to. It was not hard to get the ribbon all the way up to here and then start gluing it down. So I think I would prefer to continue doing it that way. All right, let me grab a glue stick. But this is just, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Um, I'm working on a project with the Nutcracker so what I want to do with this one is I, I do want to do like a like a sugar Christmas, sweet Christmas kind of thing. And I just want it to be really cute. I'm going to stick my little bob, my thing in here with like a pink ribbon. And then just, you know, like all the cute little sprinkle stuff that you can put in there. I think it's going to be adorable. So anyway, that's that. Um, okay, so we're going to wait for this to get hot. So the tool is, like I said, is on my Amazon shop. Um, so are the baubles. I mean, I love, now I'm thinking like what other, there's a heart-shaped one which I have, which I wanna do something for XOXO Craft Girls, um, the workshop. Look for the details there too. I'll have the link in my description. Um, if you wanna take a workshop with me and Josie from Sophie's Crafts, uh, Sophie's Corner. Um, so yeah, so there's this one. I have the heart-shaped one. I have multiple sizes of the round, as you can see right here. Here's three different sizes. Um, I mean, it's just so stinking cute. You can glue things on the outside. You can have, you know, like um, sequins and stuff on the inside. And then of course, whatever cute cardstock detail that you wanna put in there. And I feel like the cardstock projects really look so cute. And you know, it's sort of like a, mini like a cupcake topper but with a bobble around it <laughs> so okay i think this is hot enough so what i'm going to do is put my apple down so let's glue that and <clears throat> right now i still have a lot of movement like i can you know Twist this around. Okay, so. Then I'm gonna put the blue down, so depending on where I wanna put this. So then I'm gonna put the glue on here. my blue piece down and then I'm gonna pop this out and put my green leaf which I had here a second ago oh no oh, here it is <laughs> I'm missing some pieces so I'm just gonna put it on like that so let's get a little bit of glue on here So my piece is down. I can also lift it up and pour in my whatever sequins, uh, glitter pieces, confetti that I wanna put down. Okay, so now that this is in, I'm gonna glue this side down, right? Yeah. And I got a little bit of glue string so I wanna pick off the glue. If you get a hot glue gun like string, you can't wipe it off. So you wanna just be able to let it dry, peel it off and it won't stain. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm now gonna glue this side down.
And once I do that, and then I can put whatever sequins bobbles over here. I can close it up. Okay, so while this is fine, I guess there is a little bit of a problem because it, you could, it's not as stable. So you know what? I take it back. I would glue the top of that down. So let's pull this open for a second. What you would do is, you would have your dowel go all the way up to the top right here and put a little bit of hot glue gun put it down so that your dowel doesn't move. So let me show you the difference between this one and the one that I did. The other one I did glue down. I didn't think it was necessary, but now I changed my mind. Okay. So here is mine, right? It's, oh, hold on. It's super stiff, the sides stay. This one, if I did that, do you see how my bobble is rotating? It's now over here. So it can still move quite a bit, which I actually don't like. So I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to say you need to glue that top part. So if I wanted to glue this one, this is how you would do it. This one's a little bit harder because it doesn't have a full circle, right? You know, like there's no end to it. But what I would do is... I used beacon glue last time and I like that. Um, and then I would put my hot glue gun right here to seal off. So actually if I did that, maybe I don't even need to glue the top. I just need to glue the bottom. So I think I'll do that. So yeah, so there's, there's some options. If you don't wanna glue the top, your dowel to the top of this, then I would glue it down here and that would keep it stable. So actually, if I glued it here, yeah, it would it would stay stable. So those are your options. All right, this you can you know put together and glue up here. Um, what I did was I made sure that there was one because I used the foam squares. I used one where I can put glue at the bottom, hot glue gun, and so that it would stay onto my bobble. So let's do that here. We're gonna glue this really quickly so that you can see. Are you thinking of all the different things that we can do now? I feel like this is such a fun, fun little project. Like we can, I don't know, it's so stinking cute. And I'm just thinking like a bunch of little girls running around loving that they're like little princesses um, with their little wands. And I don't know, it's gonna be so cute with all the, all the fun details of your party too. I think it's perfect. And you can make one specifically for the, the party girl, birthday girl. Okay, so I did that really quickly just so that you could see. And then we're gonna do on this side, same thing. So I'm gonna grab two foam squares and I'm gonna put it all the way at the bottom where I know it's going to be able to um, touch the foam, I mean the, the bobble. So I'm gonna do it there and right there. So all the way at the edge. And that way I have a bottom 
So now I'm gonna put glue here and it will, I'll even show you before I put the glue. You see it touches, oops. <laughs> There's a part of the foam that touches so it can stay on there. So you're just gonna add glue and put it on there. So any, any one item that you're gonna put on there or multiple items, what you wanna do is you're gonna have your piece, so the bow, and then you're gonna make a duplicate copy in design space. And then you're gonna reverse it because you want it to be, the mirrored image is on the back. So it's the same on both sides. So it fits the same way. It looks like it's the one item and then you can prop it up. Cute, right? All right, then with the ribbon. All right, let me grab ribbon and I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's so cute. I'm gonna do it really quickly on this one so that you can see it. Okay. Take a little bit of glue gun. Glue from your glue gun is what I meant to say. <laughs> I'm gonna start it. And then because it's attached to that, just run it around like this, glue it, and then start to wrap it. And then what's cool about the ribbon is um, you can use HTV on the ribbon and you can have a message or something and you just go all the way to the bottom. That's all there is to this. So easy, right? And it just really transforms the stick into something really pretty. Um, but I love this tag because I was going to put maybe like the fairest of them all or Halloween 2022 or something. And then you can have that on there. So it's a keepsake for your birthday party or whatever it is, graduation party, um, gender reveal party, any of that. You can really uh, make turn this into something that you keep for forever. So, all right, that's all I have for you. I'm so excited to um, stumble upon this craft because I think we're going to do a ton more. So, all right, comments and questions, please post them so, um, you know, we can help you. And if you have any other projects that you want to see, post it below. All right, bye.